Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for a brand new video. On Monday for Lucy's birthday, we were in Liverpool for a few hours and I got a little bit of footage. I didn't want to spend too long in the stores. I did go to CEX, HMV, World Apart and Forbidden Planet and I popped into the entertainer as well, but I didn't get too much footage. I didn't want to spend too much time um, shopping on my own. So it was Lucy's birthday after all and I wanted to spend some time with her. But as you can maybe tell i'm a bit under the weather i'm a bit unwell unfortunately but i wanted to get this video out for you guys so without further ado i'll cut straight into the footage and show you guys what i got at the end of the video okay guys so the first trip was worlds apart as you can see i did get a few pickups but i'm currently walking towards forbidden planet the weather was really bad and i am sick if you can't tell by my audio i'm quite unwell unfortunately but yeah entering forbidden planet i got no footage from the store but as you can see by my bag i did pick up a few things which i'll show you at the end of the video now i'm walking towards st john's shopping center and music and film direct rest in peace what a store that was absolutely brilliant and now currently walking to hmv this is my second time visiting the new store and i'm quite excited to see what they've got the first thing that I pick up though was Raging Fire, the new 4K steelbook, $21.99 and I love the artwork on this release. Shawshank Redemption, $9.99 with any purchase, with a slipcover which is pretty nice. And then the new release this week was Kingsman, $24.99 with a lovely slip. Again, great artwork on that release. Luca though on the 2 for 24 offer, this was currently only in store and not online, they hadn't updated the website yet. Onward also part of that deal which is nice to see, a couple more that I'll be showing off in this video. The next title was Jojo Rabbit as a part of the 2 for 24 offer, really good film. Uh, quite a place part 1 and part 2, 29.99 and then loads of offers on the 2 for 30, loads of titles there to see. So guys, two pickups from HMV. I'm currently walking to CEX. Weather's still not great. And the first thing that I see here is Backdraft with Kurt Russell. £15 with a lovely slip. Good condition there. Eternals was priced at £12, which is pretty steep for CEX, unfortunately. Home Alone, though, £8 with a mint slip. This was a great find and a really good offer, but I do have it in the collection already. The next title that I spotted was Waterworld. This was £25 from Arrow Video. This is the collector's set. I've never seen this before, but a good deal. And then, unfortunately, we have Fantastic Four with a cover reprinted, which sucks. Okay, guys, so I am now home, and I want to show you guys some pickups that I got. I got um, three Funko Pops, a book, and two 4Ks as well. So I hope you enjoyed the footage. Like I said, it wasn't too much in this video, but with it being Lucy's birthday, like I said, I didn't want to spend too long on my own recording footage. But anyway, the first two pickups were from Worlds Apart and they had two Funko Pops and these were priced at £9.99. So shout out to Jordan from Movie Worm. Um, he let me know about these. So straight away, this was the first place that I went to. First up, we have Batman from the new The Batman movie. This is number 1187. And yeah, 9 99 a really nice Funko. So I'm happy to pick that one up. Another Funko from The Batman, this is 1192 and is The Riddler. And again, this was priced at £9.99. I can't wait for this movie. I am going the midnight showing on Thursday, the first showing as well. So I can't wait to see that. The next pickup that I got was from Forbidden Planet. Now, I actually spotted this when I was paying for my items at the counter. And I thought, mm, let me have a little look at some pricing on eBay and on other sites. And I thought, you know what? I'll pick it up. It is another Funko Pop. It was £21.99 with the Funko Pop Protector. So for the Funko itself, £20, I think it's a pretty good deal. This is 1191, again from the Batman. It is Oswald Cobble Pop and it is the limited edition Chase variant. I thought that was pretty cool. I've never seen a Chase in person before and this was the only one uh, left. So I picked it up and yeah, a really nice pop and I'm happy to have that in the collection. That's my first Chase ever. My other pickup from Forbidden Planet was actually a book, and this is DC's Justice League, The Art of the Film. This released at £29.99. Now, I got this for £4.99 in the sale. Like, that is really, really cool. This is a really nice book, hardback, and yeah, I love stuff like this, Art of the Film. I've got quite a few DC ones now, and I think I might pre-order the, the new Batman one as well, but... Yeah, for £4.99, I couldn't leave this on the shelf and I had to pick it up. 
Guys, I almost forgot to show you something. I picked up a Blu-ray from CEX, and I forgot to mention it at the start of the video, but I did get a Blu-ray. This was £10, and when I was in the store, I had to Google it to see if HMV or Amazon or Zavi were pricing it around the same price, and they wasn't, so this is an absolute steal. Season 3 of Cobra Kai for £10. I've looked at the discs, I've looked at the box, everything is in mint condition, it looks brand new, so I'm super, super happy to add that to my collection. I already own seasons one and two, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we get season four at some point, either this year or the start of next year. Two more pickups to show you guys, these are both from HMV, and I did take advantage of the two for 24 off. A few weeks back, I did pick up a Disney title from CEX, I picked up Soul, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of this offer. So the first title that I picked up was Luca on the 2 for 24. Love the artwork. So for £12 each, I don't think we can complain. You do get the Blu-ray and the 4K. So I do think it's worth it. And I love this film. This is one of my favourite Pixar films to date. So I'm happy to add this to my 4K collection. And then the second title, again, this was another one I did show off in my video, was Onward. Love this film. It was really emotional as well. Um... Me and Lucy and her sister actually watched it not long after her dad had passed. And there was just a few scenes in there that really touched all of us. And I think it's a sentimental film to us. We really, really do enjoy it. The animation this is beautiful. Brilliant film overall and another Pixar movie. I'm very happy to add to my collection. So guys, that was my Blu-ray hunt in Liverpool. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Now, one of the big reasons why I didn't get too much footage from the HMV and Forbidden Planet stuff was that hopefully over the next couple of weeks I might be meeting up with Jordan who you guys know as Movie Worm and um, hopefully he has some time off work I'm off quite a bit in March so hopefully yeah we can meet up and we'll get some footage for you guys and then hopefully after that as well I will get to meet Paul Tams and Luke from Movie Massacre we uh, have been messaging a few times and hopefully we can try and sort something out as well and get some footage on the channel but anyway thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video on the channel i really do appreciate your support if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you haven't checked my socials i will link them all down below i'm on twitter and i'm on instagram as well so i appreciate you for checking those out but anyway that was it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one